for Wendy Williams. Is she off the, she's off the air again, and Jesse Smellett is back in Los Angeles finally. And we're learning explosive details about Barbara Bush and her marriage of 73 years. So joining us now is pop culture expert John Murray, who's going to break it all down for us. All right, John, let's first up, we got Wendy Williams. First, she's back on the air. She's not on the air. She's in sober living. She's out of sober living. What the heck is going on? Let me first say I love Wendy Williams. You know, I've done this show like a half dozen times. Her and the team, they are always really, really nice. But the fans of the show, they're asking, how are you doing? And they're not using <laughs> yeah. her pop culture colloquialism. They really want to know how Wendy Williams is doing. You know, um, uh, it was revealed that, you know, during her hi extended hiatus where everyone thought she was battling Graves' disease, that she was actually in a rehab facility. And then she had to go on the air herself last week because uh, one of the celebrity newspapers was going to tell the folks that she was living in a sober living house. And so she's been, uh, you know, she relapsed. You know, she talked about having a cocaine addiction back in the day, but she never went to rehab. And so she kind of kicked it cold turkey. Apparently there's some stress in her life during to some things going on in her relationship. And because of that, they're saying that she oh. relapsed. So we're just w wanting Wendy to get healthy. Um, but I guess when you're the queen of hot topics, it's kind of weird when you've become the hot topic. Right, yeah. and you're not talking about the hot topic. Yeah. All right, let's okay. talk about the other hot topic. You said that I did. I know, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesse Smollett, uh, he may have to pay the city $130,000. What's this about? Well, look, the mayor, Rahm Emanuel, is asking for $130,000 because he said that's how much the investigation into the whole alleged hoax or attack, whoever you believe, uh, cost the city. Now, we do know that he gave back $10,000. That was the amount of uh, bond money they had to put up. Um, but in addition, some of the legislators there in Illinois, they're trying to pass a bill saying that if anybody hires him for any productions, you can't get the tax breaks. Now, you know, Ava DuVernay is coming up. She'll tell you, when you're producing yes. projects and stuff, getting a tax break on location, that's part of why you go outside of L.A. to shoot something. And so it's getting really interesting there. I said it earlier, I'll say it again. This story had more twists and turns than an episode of Empire. It became Law and Order Chicago Edition. And now it's a Hollywood reboot, Unsolved Mysteries. We got to figure out what's going on there in Chicago. Okay, and then fi last but not least, Barbara Bush. Oh. She had a beloved love with George H.W. Bush for 73 years. A new biography coming out. And it says that she was suicidal because he was having an affair with one of his aides while he was at the CIA. And it was a long-term affair. I yes, mean, this years. book that she actually sat down and did an uh, interview for mm -hmm. talks about how he had an affair with this woman for 12 years. And she admits to it in this book? She talks about it how, wow. and how she, one year they didn't spend uh, Christmas together because they had gotten to China or somewhere and the woman was there and she was mad that the woman was there. Listen, I have two very close Republican commentator friends, Tara Setmeyer and Sher Michael Singleton. And I tell them all the time, Republicans are the real rock stars. They're always the ones that end up in the sex crimes and sex scandals. All this time, we thought Bill Clinton was the only one having affairs and living like a rock star president. No, uh, Daddy Bush, he was having some good times as well. You said it, we did it. We, <laughs> you said it, we did it. But you know what? They, they were married and they loved each other to the end. They so did. whatever makes, it makes you stronger sometimes in relationships. Absolutely. John, you live in D.C. Come back to L.A. anytime. And listen, I'll be in Lamert Park today with my friends from McDonald's. They're kicking off their new all-year-long black history campaign. It's called uh, Black and Positively Golden. I'll be there with Nomani. I'll be there with Yvonne Orgy from Insecure. One o'clock at the YMCA in Lamert Park. That's why I'm here in Hollywood. I'm having a Mac good time. Yeah, get me a double double while you're at it. All right. <laughs> All right.